Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Geek's Corner. Okay, today I want to talk about an app called Livebox. Now, I wrote an article about it the other day, and I've held off making a video tutorial about it because I've been in touch with the developer and he advised me that there was an update coming out, so I wanted to wait until that was launched before we covered it. Now, first of all, if you are jailbroken, you can get this app from the official repo, which is dtathemes.com. I will put a link to the repo in the description below. I know other repos do have it, but they are not the official source, so I can't guarantee how safe they are, and obviously they're not going to get the updates as fast as the official source. Now, if you are not jailbroken and you have iPoon Store or IPA Store, they are both official signing services for this application as well. So you will get that as part of your package at no extra cost. Now we're going to jump straight in onto this one and let's open up the app here. Okay, now first thing we've got is you've got the Twitter handle, so if you need any help, you can just tweet them. You've got the VPN by Blue Leaf Hosting, which we've covered before. So if you do need a VPN, they are pretty good, so check those out. You can obviously advertise there as well, and you can also report any broken links. Now, just looking at the list here, you can see straight away, you've got some Sky Sports on here. You've got the one, two, three, four, and five. You've then got your BT Sports one and two, both in HD as well. You've got your Luxury HD, you've got your Vivo, and then you've got a few other ones as well. So as you can see, you've got your sports, you've got your news, you've got your radio, and obviously you've got some music channels on there as well. You've then got your Russia Today, you've got your BBC World News, you've got your Jasmine TV, you've got your Capital TV, so you've got a, vi a wide variety there. So you've got your NASA as well, and obviously you've got your BBC One London, your BBC One Two, you've got your ITV channels as well. Now, you would pay a lot to your cable provider to get this service, and this is, like I say, completely free. Moving down there, you can see you've got your Amazing Discoveries, you've got your Fox, you've got your Fox Movies, you've even got your NFL Now, and you've got your Geo Super as well, including your Discovery English, Russia, and obviously you've got your Formula One, which is obviously a good channel as well if you like your Formula One racing. You've even got channels for your kids, your Disney XD, and your, Discover, uh, sorry, your Disney Channel as well, and your Cartoon Network. Now, when this first launched, there was uh, a few good channels on there. It was mostly sports, so if you're a sports fan, it's great. Uh, I know myself and a few other people then have put requests in for other channels, and they've added those. They do allow you to put requests in, but obviously you're not guaranteed it. They'll try their best to add it. You've even got your Sky Movies, which does cost quite a bit uh, from Sky itself. And this is say you didn't want to scroll through all of this to find the channel you want. You can actually click on the search option and you can type in there. So let's just type uh, Discovery. There you go. You've got your Russia, your Turbo. So you can actually choose which one you want there. So we click on the Discovery channel. There you go. Now obviously it hasn't got any sound on this recording because YouTube will remove it straight away. But I can guarantee that it's really good sound as well. Um, as you can see, the picture quality is pretty good. Now, what you can also do is you can actually airplay this to your TV if you have an Apple TV, and I've tried that. I've been playing that today, and it does work seamlessly. And if you are jailbroken and you've got a background in Tweak, you can actually include this on there, so you can still use your device whilst airplaying it to your TV using the background Tweak. Okay, let's have a look for another one. Just to show that it is pretty good and seamless. There we are, a bit of NFL, if you're an NFL fan. And as you can see, the quality again is really, really good. Let's close that down. It's quite responsive as well, which is what you really want. Yeah, let's click on a Disney one for the kids. Now, when this first came out, they didn't have a Disney channel on there. Uh, I know I requested the Discovery and the Disney Channel, and a few other people have done some requests as well. So if you've got kids, you can keep them entertained as well. So check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.